Welcome back to another great episode of Boat Show TV, episode 12 of our 15 shows for 2014 season. And this time we are kicking off at least the first half of the show here in Key Largo. I'm with my boating friends, Mark and Eileen Fisher uh, from the Florida Powerboat Club and also from Boats Direct USA. We've got a whole bunch from them later in the show. But for the cruising segment of the show, we are going to show you one of our favorite destinations and a place that Mark and Eileen call home, and that's Key Largo in the Florida Keys. Ah, uh, Gilbert's Key Largo, no better place. Uh, you just hang out on any given day of the week. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Key Largo and a uh, busy place. I know it's gonna be much busier tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday's afternoon at Gilbert's is a big, big, big event. But uh, we're just kind of hanging out, taking it easy today. We stopped off, had a couple of drinks, had a little bit of lunch, and uh, we are gonna continue our way through Key Largo. Let's start out with the world famous Caribbean Club right here. Last time I checked, I think that they we're in business in about 1948. Uh, I think the, the current family that owns it now has had it since about 1963. Uh, but it's right there and it has a boat ramp, so you know, up to about 35 foot you can launch right there and park. Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill, hot spot, big time hot spot. They've got um, uh, fabulous restaurants, uh, they've got different menus and different places you can hang out uh, in at the property. They've got a beautiful pool. Sundowners is great seafood. Uh, it's a family-run operation. Really known for having great service and great food, and, and obviously a great view. Sundowners sitting on the deck there, or on the outside patio, as the sun da comes down here in Blackwater Sound, it's really an experience uh, to be had. Key Largo Bayside Marina. Bayside Marina is a uh, full-service rack storage facility, uh, and uh, they offer fuel and rack storage. The Marriott, Key Largo Bay Beach Resort. They don't have a big marina or a big basin, but they do allow you to dock your boat there. They've got a good variety of rooms, beautiful pool, uh, good dining. Gus's Grill is a great restaurant. And they also have the conference center, which you're looking at right now. It's a beautiful facility for a banquet, a function, a wedding. One of the popular hangouts at the Marriott is Breezer's Tiki Bar. It's a sports bar, so you can catch up on the game while sipping a nice tropical cocktail. They've got a nice sandy beach and a walkway. You can see the walkway that extends all the way over to the main building, which is uh, Gus's Grill on the second floor. And on the top floor is also a private banquet room. You can see by the decor outside that right now they're getting ready for a wedding, a very, very popular wedding destination. And you can see why. Obviously, it's beautiful out here. One thing I do want to mention about the, the Marriott Key Largo Bay Beach Resort is that they actually have a beach. One of the few resorts in the Florida Keys that really has a nice sandy beach. One thing that boaters like to do is cross over from the bay side to the ocean side. There are three places to do it in Key Largo, but it's a very big key. At least 20 miles to the north is Angelfish Creek. To the south is Tavernier Creek. But right here in central Key Largo, you can pass through the Marvin Adams Pass. It's cut right out of coral and connects you with Largo Sound and out into the ocean side. Just went through Largo Sound and uh, Weaver and I went through the mangroves, came out onto the ocean side. What we're gonna do is take you in now to the ocean side of mainstream Key Largo, like downtown Key Largo. Port Largo, they call this area, part of Key Largo. Uh, we're gonna make the turn and head right down into the, um, more of the commercial district. But to get there, you gotta go through this uh, uh, residential district. Now there are some big boats that pass through here all the time. So remember that if you are coming in here just to cruise like we are today, got to pay attention to the traffic because there's some big tour boats that pass through here and uh, they'll take up pretty much most of the channel so you need to get out of their way. Okay we finally made it down into the bottom we're right in the heart of Key Largo now by water a lot of small fishing boats uh, a couple of uh, you know rental operations 
But one thing you see more than here more than anything is these dive operators. Uh, Key Largo, uh, because we're so close to the reefs right here, is probably one of the number one dive and snorkel destinations in the Florida Keys. Well, as you can see by that brilliant sun, it is the magic hour in Key Largo here, and it's been a magic day boating with our friends uh, Mike and Maggie Sands. Uh, we started off with Mark and Eileen Fisher on the 33 Ocean Hawk, and then we jumped ship, and now we've enjoyed the rest of the afternoon on this 39 cigarette top fish sport. Up next on Boat Show TV, we find a boat for every budget with Boats Direct USA. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. Welcome to the water. Step into boating with our free DVD at discoverboating.com. Hungry for a little fun? Head for the new Tilted Kilt Hoppy Hour. Dig in to seven new sizzling appetizers, seasoned to perfection and priced from two to five dollars. Pair them up with your favorite draft beer and get ready to lift your glasses and your spirits. So come in for the new Tilted Kilt Hoppy Hour from three to seven p.m. and nine to close and tilt the day your way. Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery, a cold beer never looks so good. Hey boaters, if you enjoy performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPCT, exciting DVDs, and our great parties. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. With so many great experiences to share together, Marathon is the perfect place to keep your kids grounded and an even better place to watch them soar. Marathon in the Florida Keys. Next on Boat Show TV, we showcase a boat for every budget at Boats Direct USA. Segment two, it's time to cover fishing. We thought we would stay in the Florida Keys. We came down to Boats Direct USA. Mark, we had fun boating around on the Ocean Hawk. We're here to show our viewers that Boats Direct USA has a full range of boats. And if you want to buy a boat on a budget, this is the place to come. We also have Anthony Owsley here. Between Anthony and Mark, we're going we're to go through a full line of boats, starting with $25,000 budget, a $50,000 budget, $100,000, then 150, then we're gonna go all the way to 250,000, and then 300 and beyond. And Boats Direct has a new boat at every one of those price points. Tell me a little bit about Boats Direct and your concept in selling. Well, Stu, our concept is basically to have everything from entry level all the way up to custom built offshore boats like the Deep Impact. We really started this business based on used boats and, and over the economic downturn, there haven't been a good supply of late model used boats because they just were never built. So what we've turned our model into is to find new, brand new boats that we can sell at basically used boat prices. Anthony, two boats from Nautic Star priced under 25,000. What are we sitting here at? We're in front of the 1810 Nautic Star Bay. This boat is perfect for the family, perfect for the person who likes to take the boat out to a sandbar, have a little fun with the family, kids, the pet. It's got forward seating availability, rear seating, flip-flop seat, perfect for the fisher. If you want to take it to the inland waters, you can fish in the waterways, um, has live wells. Anthony, you tell me 24325 for this 19. Tell me more about this boat. This 19 offshore has got more freeboard for the person who does want to go out in deeper waters and not worry about getting beat up as much. It's very dry. It's got the forward seating bow cushions as well. Still has the live wells for the fishermen. Actually has two to be specific on this boat. Right. Flip-flop seating is available with a T-top, hard top, whatever your choice is. However you want to build it, you can do it. Okay, Anthony, we're at the Epic uh, 25 SC here. I know they make a 22 also, but at our price point of uh, under $50,000, this is the boat. Yeah, this is $44,900. This boat is very well equipped with a Mercury OptiMax Pro XS 250, which 
performance. This boat is like none other. It's a bay boat, obviously, uh, in terms of its styling, but it seems to have a big flare on the hull, more of an offshore style flare. So I guess that kind of makes it a dual purpose boat. Makes it a hybrid boat. It's perfect for the person who wants to be inland or offshore. Mm -hmm. It's very dry with the big flare as well, and it's very open on top for the family. Moving on up the food chain now, we're at the $100,000 budget. Uh, Anthony, we're in front of a contender. Tell us about this boat. It's the 24 Sport, which is perfect for the person who loves to take the boat offshore. Mm -hmm. It actually comes equipped with a trailer from Contender, okay. twin 150 Yamaha four-stroke motors, which comes with a six-year warranty. The boat comes with a 10-year warranty from Contender, and it's what professional fishermen love to use. Now, earlier in the show, we spent a lot of time cruising around in Key Largo on a 33 Ocean Hawk, and that was an all-white demo, but now we've got this beautiful blue custom paint. Uh, we're at the $150,000 budget. The white boat fits right at the, in that snack bracket. This boat, Mark, you tell me, with the custom paint is how much? The custom paint will add about $10,000 for what's on this boat. Uh, you'd be about $159. And then uh, the power options. Now, we saw a lot of Yamaha boats earlier, but now we're looking at the Mercury Verado Power. Yeah, and Ocean Hawk and Mercury kind of go together as this is more of a go fast center console. Um, this boat will run about 65 miles an hour with twin 300s. And yeah, you can do a triple 300 boat if you for someone that wanted to go faster. Okay, Mark, uh, again, moving up the line now at a $250,000 budget, this Blackwater 36. Sticker price uh, on the boat here on the lot is $219,000, just the way it's set. But it is, as you told me, a custom boat. Tell me more about Blackwater. Yeah, Blackwater is our pride and joy, actually. We, we manufacture this boat. It is a custom-built boat. We have a limited production. The fit and finish of this boat is far superior than most boats in its class. Um, this boat here has twin 300s on it. This boat also can have triple 300s, depending on your need for speed, obviously, as always. Uh, with twin motors, the boat runs well over 60 miles an hour. With triples, it'll run right around 70. This is obviously at the top of the Deep Impact custom boat line, uh, 399, so it's almost 40 feet long. Uh, this one's equipped with quad uh, Mercury Verado 300s. Uh, price point, performance, you've been impressed with the boat, haven't you? Probably one of the most impressive boats I've ever driven, even in the go-fast world of boating. Um, this boat is uh, an 18,000 pound offshore vessel that can handle seas of upwards of six to eight feet with no problem. The boat runs a top speed of 75 miles an hour. It's able to be built in many different custom options. This boat we're standing on is a poker on addition, specifically was built really with cruising in mind with, with seating capacity for nine passengers behind the console. Boats Direct USA really does have a boat on every budget. Up next on Boat Show TV, it's time for the World Wakeboard Championships, presented by Supra Boats. Blackwater boats are the champion's choice. Race to your destination, reel in the big ones, then push it to the limit to get back in time for weigh-in. Blackwater boats can run over 70 miles per hour. Check out the brand new sport models equipped with full forward and rear seating for more creature comforts. Custom build your dream Blackwater, available in 36, 39, or 43 foot TE and sport models. Then choose your power, twin, triple, or quad motor options. Available exclusively through BoatsDirectUSA.com. In the world of racing, there's only one thing that matters, results. The pros are taking notice of the latest in fuel technology, Boostane. Boostane is an engineered octane concentrate that delivers on its promises. Promises that are documented by independent testing facilities, safe to use in any internal combustion engine. Boostane can achieve octane levels previously unattainable in the fuel additive market. Want race fuel at a fraction of the cost? Simply follow the quick ratio chart to achieve your desired octane level with Boostane. It's the Boat Show. The Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, October 30th through November 3rd. It's a family affair. See over 1,000 boats of all shapes and sizes with factory experts on site. Catch cruising, fishing and diving seminars, free kids fishing clinics, electronics, art, jewelry and fashion, food, drinks, live music and opening night fireworks. All at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, October 30th through November 3rd. Get discount tickets at showmanagement.com. Welcome back to Boat Show TV. Let's join the crew at the Supra Boats World Wakeboard Championships. 
Hey, for our next segment of Boat Show TV, we promise you water sports, and we are delivering on our promise here in Fort Lauderdale on a beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon. It's a three-day weekend here, the World Wakeboard Association. It's one of their world championship events. Competitors in several classes, but there's only one boat out on the course today, and that's our presenting sponsor from Supra. Super Boats here with their brand new 550, which are towing all of the competitors up and down this course. Some tough competition, competitors from all over the world, but I know you boaties out here want to know more about the boats, and that's why we're here. So we've got all the Super Brass, we've got the President, the VP of Sales, the Marketing, and a lot of pro riders here to tell us all about these beautiful Supra Boats. Well, when I told you that we had all the brass here from Supra Boats, we went all the way to the top here. We've got Dan Miller, VP Sales. Uh, Dan, this is exciting to be here at our first water sports event. And these wakeboard boats that Supra makes are absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about the history of Supra in conjunction with uh, WWA and, and all these events that you attend. Sure, it's interesting because Supra built its heritage on, on small little ski boats years ago and everybody wanted small wakes and, and uh, flat wakes so that you could slalom ski yeah. and barefoot and things like that. Super, it's interesting for Supra because Supra was the first brand that expanded outside of the normal ski boat right. with, a, with a closed bow boat and, and, and no creature comforts. Supra yeah. started doing open bows long before yeah. the industry started doing open bows okay. and started expanding into family boats. So not, not only are the boats today uh, great uh, world-class wakeboard products right. and, and they're also great family boats so uh, uh, you know a portion of the, the boats go to riders at this level yeah. but most of them go to families who just like to bring a bunch of people and wakeboard and surf and ski and do all kinds of things really versatile but here at this event obviously the 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 celebrities the heroes are the riders the pro riders Absolutely. and I know you've got a whole team of them here let's go find a couple well, we said we were going to find you a couple of pros, and we, we found Trevor Hansen. And uh, bittersweet for Trevor, you're here as a competitor, but you're not riding this weekend because you had an injury recently. A guy who's been competing for as many years as you have, 15 years on the tour, how do you get injured? Uh, it just happens, you know, as you get a little bit older, especially the knees take a beating. And uh, unfortunately, earlier this year, competing in Australia, I tore my ACL. Um, and it is a bittersweet. The boat that we're using this weekend is my personal boat. I'll be taking that home as soon as we're done here. Um, so it's bittersweet standing on the shoreline having to watch all the guys, but we're going to see some good riding this weekend. We want to talk about the Supra, that, that 550LE, that, or SC550 that you have. What do you like about that boat? Uh, it's an awesome boat. It's brand new. You know, we just got those things uh, finally completed. Um, it's been a couple years in, uh, in the making. Um, I've only had that boat for two days before I brought it down here to the World Championships, um, but I couldn't be happier with it. You know, the size, the comfort, the, the drivability, and then, of course, the wake. Um, all the competitors out here, I've been asking them each one every time they come off uh, to see how they like it. Everyone's really enjoying it. The wake's huge. It's got a great transition. You can have a beautiful boat on the trailer, but when you put it in the water, it better have good propulsion, and that's why Indemar is here. I'm with Scott Clank, who's one of the VPs, and we got the big brass here. And Scott, you are very proud of this boat, and you're very proud of this engine package. Tell me about it. Hey, you know what? We really are. This is the all-new Raptor by Enmar 6.2 liter. We have three different engine, engine offerings with the 6.2. So you have your base 400, right. and then stepping it up to this one, which is the 440. Yep. And then now the new Roush supercharged, Roush-powered engine that we have here at the World Championships today that we're debuting for the first time. So that's the actual engine that's in the 550 that's out there on the course. That sure is. And, you know, a lot of effort, a lot of work. We're, you know, our engineering firm collectively with Ford and with Roush put together an amazing package. And our goal was to debut it here. And, you know, you put a lot on the line unveiling a product at a world championship. But uh, we are just super happy with what's going on. The riders are enjoying it. The performance has been fantastic. Well, we've got a trophy here. And we have two team riders here who have done very well at this competition. On my left, Becky Miller, an American girl from Pennsylvania who rode amateur and won what title? Amateur Women's World Champion. Well, that is great. So you're taking home the big trophy, and we even have your your board here. What kind of board do you use, and why do you like it? Uh, it's a Ronix Co. 22, and I like it because it's uh, really easy to ride on. And we have Beck Gange, uh, another a pro here, actually, all the way from Australia. Uh, Beck, wow, a long way from home. Uh, so how do you like the event so far? Yeah, it's been really good. I've been here since Wednesday, so we've experienced all types of weather. But uh, the last two days, it's really put it on. So yeah, really looking forward to today. You told me earlier, 10 years as a competitor, uh, 
you've been all over the world. What are some of your favorite venues? Yeah, uh, I mean, the World Cup events are always good, and the, the WWA, these events are always great. Um, we've got weight games at the start of the year, which is an awesome event. But yeah, by far, this one's probably my favorite one so far. Up next on Boat Show TV, we visit our friends at Atlantic Yacht and Ship to see what's making waves in the yachting world. Welcome back to Boat Show TV. It's time to head uptown and find out what's going on with Atlantic Yacht and Ship. Segment four, we promised you yachts. We're going to give you yachts. This segment is brought to you by Atlantic Yacht and Ship, and we have got the man, Stephen Feraldo, here, a one-time guest on Boat Show TV, back again uh, after meeting you at the Collins uh, Inwater Show. Now, Stephen, we are here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, in Las Olas, with a beautiful 80 Sunseeker yacht. Tell us about this boat. Today, we're going to take you on board. 80 Sunseeker, 2010 sees the day. She's a uh, beautiful, quick boat, um, power to 1,800 mans, and uh, she has an economy cruise of about 22 knots. She could cruise at about 25, but she likes to run around 22. Top end, I've had her up around 31. Yeah. She's, uh, you know, she's got track fin zero speed stabilizers. The boat's well equipped. And it's a big boat too, right? Four cabins plus crew quarters. Yep, four staterooms, VIP forward. Uh, the master's midship and uh, two crew aft. No, I understand now you'd get a captain for this boat and a full-time mate but uh, you were telling me earlier that this captain uh, is also the owner of the boat so uh, I'd like to find out from him just how how is it to run this boat. Oh absolutely well he's on board. Well we met the captain and the owner Gary Garoni and he's an Aussie to boot and he says he just loves the boat. Gary, you've had a great time in this Sunseeker. Tell us all about it. Yeah, well, good morning, Stu. It uh, really is a great boat. You know, uh, I've come up through uh, yachts and you know, now, now the 80 footer I think is a great size, especially for an owner operator. Um, you know, we love to uh, enjoy the boat. It's nice to uh, take the family out and the, mm -hmm. and the grandkids and uh, it's nice to have not have crew on board. So you've got your, just your privacy with your family. Real quick, on the electronics and with the, all the instrumentation here, it looks like really complicated, but tell us it's not. This thing has AIS, which is an authentication system that tells other boats where we are and mm -hmm. we know where other boats are. Sure. You know, we've got, uh, we've got dual everything on board, two navigation systems with two depth sounders. So, um, you know, if, if a captain ever runs aground on a yacht like this and uh, with all the sophistication on, on this boat, yeah. Um, he probably needs to go back to school and learn a little <laughs> bit more about it. Now, I, I also noticed uh, that if it's a nice day out and you want to get out from inside, you can go up on the bridge. We have a, uh, another uh, twin screen uh, displays upstairs where we can run the boat in a set of uh, throttles and uh, steering, of course. And, uh, you know, it's nice up there. You're some 20 feet in the air. Sure. And you've got the, uh, the breeze. Stephen, we're, uh, we're moving up the food chain here up to this 100-foot uh, yacht here at Turnberry Isles. Tell us more about it. Yeah, hey, Stu. We're, we're aboard a, a, a 98 Leonardo uh, Azimut, which is a 2010 model, and uh, she's powered with twin 2,216 horsepower MTUs. We had her this Saturday uh, on the pins. We had her up to 29 knots. And it cruised at 2,100 RPM. We were cruising at tw a solid 21, 21 and a half knots. It's a good running boat. So big power and big speed, but people want to know how far, what the range might be. You could probably get five, 600 miles if you cruise it at the right speed, I'm guessing. Yeah, at a, at a slow cruise at around 10 knots, you would get, get that type of range at up on top, running at around 21, 22 knots, you're getting about 350 mile range. 
Well, let's talk about the other features because when you're on a big yacht like this, speed isn't necessarily a critical issue because really, once you're on the yacht, you've reached your destination. It's time to have fun. And that brings me to this next subject, this giant salon. I've never seen one this big. It's obviously got a big, be a big feature of this boat. The back window doors here, they all open up and basically brings the whole entire boat in and incorporated into the salon, so it's, it's a great feature. Talked about the size of the boat, it's 98 feet, it's got about a 22 foot beam. I'm guessing that that makes this salon about probably between 1,000 and 1,200 square feet of just party space. Absolutely. It is with the track fin stabilizer, zero speed, so even if you're at anchor somewhere and just want to drop the anchor, the boat will stay, she's real, real steady out there. A lot of room up top on the flying bridge. Uh, you can obviously pilot the boat from the helm as well, from the bridge as well. Yes, sir. And, on t and also up on the flybridge, he has a real nice size jacuzzi. At the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, we will have uh, one of her sister ships, which is a, a 100 Grande 2014 Aspen at the show. So you have your choice, either the 2010 model or the 2014 model. There you have it, uh, our feature Atlantic Yacht and Ship uh, bringing us the ultimate in yachts, both new and used here. And for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, make sure you visit them at their display. Where are you going to be, Bahiamar? We are at Bahiamar right next to the Hall of Fame swimming dock and on the face dock. So we have about 15 boats at our display, so come on down. Love to have you. Be sure to see you there at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Stephen, thank you very much. And Thanks for your uh, sponsorship of this feature here, Boat Show TV, episode 12. It's a wrap. Thanks for watching our boating lifestyle episode of Boat Show TV. Enjoy these extra clips from this episode while we tell you about our next episode of Boat Show TV. Days after the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, Boat Show TV will premiere our first of two episodes featuring coverage of one of the most special boat shows in the world. Don't miss it. See you next time on Boat Show TV.